Welcome back to Roy's Universe. So today guys, we're going to discuss the birth number compatibility between birth number eight and life path two slash 11. So with birth number two, um, what, excuse me, birth number eight, what we have here is somebody who's naturally a boss. Birth number eight means you're born the eighth, the 17th, the 26th, and then you have a life path number of two or a life path number of 11, which simplifies to a two either way. Um, so you naturally have the um, innovative ability to be your own boss. You have administrative capabilities. You have a lot of organization and discipline. When you accompany that with the two, Saturn and the moon don't exactly get along because Saturn brings a lot of cold feelings to the moon, which makes a lot of inner turmoil for you because your life is sort of sectioned off in a way where it's like you're almost meant to be in like a government position, a service sector position or public sector. But then your number eight as a birth number you're not actually going to think, hey, I want to do this, this, or this. That's more so on an independent streak. Your best bet is to mesh the both of them together by either getting involved in like government sector things, which involves the public sector, or being of service such as like a lawyer. That's where you're going to have the strongest sort of career occupation. Without that, you're going to have a lot of weakness because if you try to go independent and do something like an entrepreneurship, your life path may not dictate that for you. Um, it's going to lead you to actually being more... Um, more social, more extrovert with other people where you have to connect. And then in turn, you're gonna have a lot of frustrations, obstructions, and delays. Another thing is with the birth number eight, you have a hard time dealing with micromanagement. So if you go with the life path two way of just saying, okay, I'm just gonna work for somebody, I'm gonna work at whatever, like a call center, McDonald's, whatever, you're gonna have a problem with the micromanagement that takes place there. So you have to sort of get that in between where it's like, you're in a company, but you have a goal to move up to this certain region, this sort of hierarchy. And you can use your pragmatic ability from the eight to then use the same abilities of the two to be di diplomatic. You can use manipulation, tactfulness, diplomacy to climb up the ladder. That's why I said get into things like politics or anything to do with law enforcement or being a lawyer, paralegal, judge. Those things more so incorporate other people, bring harmony to other people and bring that sort of domestic relation with other people that in turn makes you rich just like how you want because you're naturally an eight. If you try to go in this sort of business where it's just completely independent, like making your own websites, um, like maybe just starting your own business when it comes to goods and services, it could be good for you, but at the same time, it's not gonna be the best ideal situation. You can do it, but it will lead to a lot of different difficulties in your life. Another popular thing is like, there's a lot of big rappers and big musicians that have this combination. So because the two is a very good uh, number when it comes to dealing with negative energy, the eight's already negative. So if you get into like the music business or anything to do with um, just anything to do with like the artistic business whatsoever, making music, songwriting, producing, etc., you'll have good luck there because it, again, it's an interpersonal business. It also demands a great deal of creativity, which the number two is going to help you constitute. All right. So lucky gems for this is anything to do with like blue diamond, blue sapphire works very good specifically. Uh, good luck colors is blue and yellow. Bad luck colors black and red. Um, your good luck days are any days that add to uh, one, five, or six. Good luck name numbers are going to be either in five series or six series. Um, I would recommend six series if you're going to some sort of artistic um, occupation, and the five series if you're looking at again to politics or business. Um, when it comes to your lucky colors, what you're looking at, like I said, you have like blue, yellow, black, reds, bad luck. You can still wear those colors, the black and red, if you're going to war. Meaning like if you have like an issue where it's you have to face opposition, you're not really trying to make an attraction, you're trying to make opposition, you're trying to show that you're a threat, you can wear those colors to be very offensive and it will definitely work for you in such as like a, if you're a lawyer, where you maybe wearing like a red tie, or if you're in a political debate wearing like a red or a black tie, will definitely help you out a lot. If you're a woman, like a black or a red dress, will bring out that expression of war and in turn still help you because you're not really trying to build a relationship, you're trying to build hostility which will throw your opponent off and give you this sort of leverage that you're requiring. Um, but aside from that, that should conclude it. The only last point I have for you guys is to make sure you watch out for your unlucky days. With this one, there's only one set of unlucky days, which you guys should know by now if you've been watching my series, it's gonna be the nine. If you have um, anything that you wanna start on the 9th, 18th, 27th, don't bother. Um, you want to more so avoid those days, stay cautious, stick with your process, be disciplined, and try to deal with the least amount of people as possible on those days so that you guess that, so that you actually get the best luck. If you actually deal with a lot of people those days, you're going to get bad luck and you're going to get completely eradicated. 
just because you're not gonna have good luck with debates, you're not gonna have good luck in business, interpersonal relations will be pretty much in a hay that day, it's not gonna work for you. So you wanna keep a low profile those days and you'll be completely fine. If you guys have any comments regarding this, just please leave it in the comments for me. Aside from that, like, subscribe, all of you for today, guys. Peace.